Hey everybody, I'm Mike Rozier, and this Tech Tip Thursday, I want to show you how to save time and save yourself some serious headaches when using PowerPoint 2007 by using the Slide Master feature. Now, it might be something you've never heard of or something you've used but probably haven't used to its fullest extent. Uh, what Slide Master allows you to do is take your presentations from kind of this boring white slide that you get when you first open it up to a more professional look that has a consistent look and feel, a consistent formatting, a consistent positioning on the slide throughout your entire presentation. The other thing it'll do is uh, Slide Masters will allow you to make changes quickly and easily without having to go through and update every single slide in your presentation. So in this video I'm going to show you, uh, talk to you about the what you know what is a slide master as well as the why why would you want to use it uh, in the subsequent videos in this playlist I'll show you more of the how so how to do specific things um, so if you're looking for those check out the other videos in the playlist but to start with let me give you an example let's say um, you're in this presentation and we've probably all had this experience and we made our title uh, on each slide a specific color let's say it was blue or I'm sorry orange and we wanted to change it to blue well, you know that as most of us use it, we'd have to go through and change every single slide from orange to blue to update that. Well, thankfully, this is where Slide Master comes in in one of its uh, nice features, is the fact that we can make an update in one place, and it'll update all of our slides where that's applicable. So in, in the case of a Slide Master, we could update our titles from orange to blue, and it would change on every slide in our presentation, even if that was 100 different slides. Uh, likewise, let's say we had a logo on uh, the bottom part of our page and we wanted to shift it to the center instead. Instead of going through every single slide in the presentation and doing that over and over and over again, Slide Master lets you do it one time and it moves on every single slide. So let me jump right in. Like I said, don't focus on the how right now, but I'm going to show you what and why. Uh, if we come up here to the View menu, we can access Slide Master. So I'm in the ribbon. If you can't see, come down here and um, expand it to full screen mode. And I click on Slide Master, and you see that my uh, screen has changed a little bit. So no longer am I looking at my presentation slides where I'm actually doing the work, what will show up when I do a presentation. Instead, I'm looking at the background. I'm looking at the Slide Master, and this is the area that determines the formatting, determines the look and feel, the background color, all of those kind of things. And you can see that when I'm in Slide Master view, um, I can edit some of the things that I saw on my other slides. I can move around these objects. So I'm going to move it back. And if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, let me show you a quick example so it makes a little more sense. I'm going to insert just a quick object. You can see here I just inserted an orange circle. Notice that over here on this bigger slide it's showing the thumbnail preview of what I'm doing here. This bigger one is called the Slide Master. Underneath that are layout slides that obey the Slide Master. And you can see that when I inserted this orange circle, it's now appearing on several different layout slides. And as I move that orange circle around, so think maybe that's a logo or something like that, um, it's happening on all these other slides. The other place that it's happening, not just here in the background view, but if I exit out of Slide Master, you can see that that's now happening in my presentation. Now in my presentation I have an orange circle in the exact same spot on all these different layout slides or on all these different presentation slides that use applicable layout slides. Now to give you an idea of what I'm talking about about it being in the background is I'm back in presentation mode so th this is where I would be typing point one and point two and so on. If I try to click on this orange circle I can't do it. I can't select it because it's on the Slide Master. So that's a huge benefit for a Slide Master. If I wanted to have a logo or something that appears in the same spot on every slide, I can put it on the Slide Master and then it appears throughout my presentation in the same spot and there's no chance that I can move it by accident. Additionally, if I don't like this color background, instead of going through and updating every single slide, I can come back to my Slide Master and let's just make a ridiculous update here. Uh, so I click on the Slide Master and I'll make it something really noticeable. I'll change it to red. And now you see that throughout my presentation several different layout slides have been changed to red. And if I exit Slide Master, 
you can see that the color of my presentation slides has also changed to red. <clears throat> so these are just kind of some general examples. Obviously I haven't done anything uh, real pretty here, but I'll show you some more of those type of things in the how-to videos. But I just wanted to give you the concept that when I change things on the slide master, it makes changes throughout my presentation depending on which layout slides I'm using and which slide master I'm using in my presentation. So we'll talk more about the details of that and the, and the how-to's in those other videos, but the concept is that it saves me time because I can just make a change in one place and it changes my whole presentation and it saves me a lot of headaches because I can position something or get the color and font size just right in one location and not have to worry about repeating that exactly everywhere because slide master will make sure that all of the other slides have that exact formatting or that exact positioning that I want. So I hope you see the value in that. Uh, love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments section and uh, be sure to check out the other videos from Tech Tips Thursday. Thanks.